How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. This is a quick RPG Maker MV tutorial for somebody who asked me about the Steel Snatch plugin. Uh, a couple days ago they asked me how does it work and uh, basically all you have to do is watch Yanfly's video and read the, the help file and you'll get an idea of how it works. But I understand that not everybody learns quickly that way. Um, so hopefully this video will show you uh, how to use it, what it can do real quick. Um, it's sort of an older plugin. It's been around for a little while now, so um, I expect a lot of you probably already know all about it. But maybe there's something new you can learn. So, in this battle here, you can actually pause this. Um, so we've got our our thief's abilities here, and we've got stealing, and we've got a snatch skill. So the stealing is going to let you pick one random item or gold, depending on the plugin parameters, and steal that with a percentage chance based on gear that you're using. If you're using special gear that lets them enhance that, um, you can see that we can. It'll show a message. What happens? We tried to steal. We got a didu, and we failed to steal it. Um, so that timed that ability. So that's how steal works. You don't really get any selection. But with the snatch part of the plugin, when you try to use the ability, you get. Uh, the option to select what you want to steal depending on the ability so you can have an ability that is specifically for taking weapons specifically for taking armor specifically for taking items specifically for uh, taking gold or whatever you can give certain enemies higher resistance resistances to being stolen from you can set the parameter rates you can use uh, pieces of items uh, pieces and items that will increase the probability of stealing. There's a whole lot of things you can do with the Steel, uh, steel Snatch plugin. There's also Lunatic mode that it works with, uh, so you can really make it do all kinds of different things. But let's take in, uh, take a look at the plugin and where you're going to be placing it and everything. I feel like this may be a little too loud. Bring that down here. Okay, so the plugin, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get it. You're going to put it towards the bottom of your plugins. It's sort of not at the very bottom, but it's sort of underneath all of the status core stuff of Yanfly's section. So it's underneath items, skills, equip, status, and then right above the move route core, you can look at Yanfly's video to see you know where he's placed it. I've got it right underneath row formation above the move route core. Um, so, and I'm using version 1.08. I think that's the most recent version. But anyway, the help file will tell you everything you need to know, but if you don't have time to read it all, we're going to go over a couple things really quickly. First thing, we're going to take a look at the parameters. The parameters, is this is your base formula to determine if you're able to steal or not. Um, I wouldn't really mess with it unless you know what you're doing, uh, but you can select the parameters that are being used. So right here, stealing is based completely off of the luck stat. Um, so in this game, I've, I'm using luck for charisma, so I might even change this to be based off of the agility stat for a higher percentage chance. So if you wanted to do that, you would just change this to AGI, user.agi. And now it's not using luck, it's using agility to determine if you're able to steal it, if you're fast enough or not. So it's simple as that. It's That's going to change your uh, percentage chance of stealing and, and snatching items. So gold drop, this is basically going to say, do you want the gold that the enemy has to be able to, to be steal, uh, stolen? Uh, true or false, yes or no. Um, if if it's true, um, then what percentage of the gold do you want to be able to steal? If the item, if the enemy can drop 200 gold and you put this to 0 0.5, then you're going to be able to steal up to 100 gold or half of that, right? Um, gold removal. When you steal his gold, um, do you want that to affect how much gold they drop? Like, say they have 200 gold and you steal 100. When you kill them, do you want them to only drop the other 100, or do you want them to drop the 200, adding um, the bonus to to stealing it otherwise it'd be a waste of time stealing it right so I set that to false <clears throat> drop items basically do you want to include the items that it can drop as items that you could possibly steal or snatch true or false um, same thing with uh, that if that's true then this is the drop rate on it and if you steal that item from him do you want that to be removed from the items that he can drop so if he's got a 10% chance of dropping this sword but you stole it from him do you want that to still have a 10% chance to drop the sword or do you want it to have 0% so if this is uh, set to true, then it will remove it from, so you can only get one of those items. Automatic debuff, if a weapon or ar armor gets stolen, automatically debuff the enemy by the equipment stats, true or false. Um, so when you take a piece of, uh, like a weapon from an enemy, 
if that weapon has like 50 attack on it if this is set to true when you steal that weapon that's got 50 attack it's going to take away 50 attack from that enemy um i think oh, this can be overpowered so i set that to false but it's a cool interesting mechanic that i'm glad it's in uh this is all for customized like how you want it to appear on the text do you want it to center how long do you this is the number you're probably going to mess with i think it's 60 by default um, which is super fast, one second, 60 frames per second, boom, it's going to show you what you stole and then take it away super fast that you won't even see. So I recommend upping this to like 120, 180, 240 frames, just so you have a few seconds to see what gold you stole or if you failed to steal or, you know, what item you got. You have a few seconds to, to really uh, see. So I set that pretty high to give you the player plenty of seconds. The rest of the stuff is really optional. Change the, the sound effects when you get an item, sound effects when you get a weapon, gold, armor. Just customize the sound effects and the pan and the volume. The rest of it's pretty simple. Uh, in the help file, we're going to go over a few things real quick, but I'm basically just going to show you where they go on the database, and that's basically it. So <clears throat> all the, the no tags that go on the enemy will be right here. You can make the enemy um, have... A percentage chance to get an item a weapon an armor or gold specifically for that enemy by doing that note tag we're going to look inside the enemy's database to see how i format formatted it you can also specifically reference the item you want to steal by potion short sword round shield keep in mind if you have two items that are the same name it's going to go with the highest number item so if you've got a potion that's item number one and you've got another potion item number 720 it's going to use the 720 item it's going to use the higher number um, steel resist. Now this doesn't actually steal the enemy's resistances or element rates. This is uh, a resistance that the enemy has to stop the player from stealing items from them. So if you put steel resist on the enemy, then uh, it, that enemy is going to have a percentage chance to counteract your percentage chance of stealing the item. So say the enemy is 25% resistant, but you've got a 75% chance to steal an item. So when you try to steal, you're only going to get a calculated 50% chance to get that item because of the enemy's resistances. <clears throat> now you could also put on like a thieves glove and increase that by another 15% or whatever, or whatever armors you made that has have note tags, which we'll look at in a second. Um, so you could basically use the generic steal note tag, which is just going to basically give you the default value that's in the plugin parameter, which I think I have it set to 80%. Or you can specifically say this item can be stolen at, or uh, this skill will steal an item at this percentage chance and uh, it's going to add that percentage chance or subtract from that percentage chance now it's going to this is the note tag that's on the skill or the item that's initiating the, the steal skill um, but there's another percentage chance on the item itself and it all calculates in which goes on the enemy uh, for the loot right the enemy note tag um, so then we have chance to steal a specific, just specifically items and the same percentage chance modifiers, specifically for stealing weapons, for stealing armors, for stealing gold, and that's all for stealing, which you don't get an option to pick the item, right? Now snatch is the, the thing that lets you pick what you want. You can say snatch, which is going to let the any, let you steal anything that they can drop if the you set these parameters to uh, true right here. Um, otherwise, you'll have to specifically put the note tags that you can snatch this item, you can snatch that item, and whatnot. And um, so snatch is, is, is like a general for items, gold, weapons, armors, etc. But if you want to narrow it down to say, oh, you can only steal snatch items, then you'd use that one. Just for weapons, just for armors. You could have a skill that's just specifically for uh, yank weapon, and it only works for weapon, and so forth and so on. So you can really have a thief that's got like 10 different utility th uh, stealing skills and abilities, which is kind of cool. Um, you can change uh, specifically the sound effects on items, the volume, the pitch, the pan, uh, just for when that this skill uh, goes off. Um, and then here's note tags for uh, adding bonuses to weapons and armors. You do steel rate plus percentage or minus percentage. Uh, steel type rate, which is like, say, steel weapon rate, steel armor rate. So all of those can go on, on weapons, actors, classes, uh, armors. Uh, to like, to, this, is, this is the code you'd use for like Thieves Glove or something, you know. Lunatic mode, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can make it so that when you steal an item, you gain HP, you turn on a switch, you control a variable, you control experience stuff. You can do whatever you want, really, with the, the lunatic mode. So uh, an example of that, uh, custom steal success effect. So if you use this note tag, whatever condition is in here, it's going to run if that condition is met. So if that was an item, then we're going to get HP based on the price of that item. So if you steal an item that's worth 1,000 gold, then you're going to heal for 1,000 when you steal that item so you can do all kinds of crazy things that's basically all we're going to look at right there we kind of skimmed through it really quickly because i want to go over uh 
how you set it up in the note tag. So starting off on the uh, the uh, the classes, you can set up skills here. Um, this is uh, or note tags here. This is the first thing you need to look at is you need to make a skill that's going to actually invoke that note tag. So here I've got the stealing skill. I've set it up as a battle screen, one enemy, it's a thief skill, certain hit, it's got an animation and we say uses, whatever. It's basically just going to be an instant cast with a cooldown, but it's going to be a stealing. So with this note tag, it turns this skill into a steal attempt. The plugin will be activated with that note tag. Um, this is just an action sequence to make the player move across the screen, nothing fancy there, but then underneath it, we've got a custom steal success effect. So in that uh, help file, we looked at this. If, uh, if, we steal and, uh, if, we steal, if we successfully steal an item, then we're going to get HP based on the price of the item. And that's how that works right there, but I'm going to remove that. That was just for example. I don't really want it to work like that. Let's look at another one for, let's say, Snatch. Where did I put it? It's up here. Here it is. So this one, when you put this code, snatch, now it'll let you select a weapon, item, armor, you know, whatever, gold, uh, to steal, specifically focus on that item uh, when you use the skill. Um, same setup for this one right here, certain hit, animation, battle screen, one enemy, uh, so forth and so on. Uh, this is an action sequence just to move across the screen, that's all that does, nothing fancy there. But all this is doing is saying snatch. Now, say you wanted to make an armor, that's going to increase your chance of stealing. The no tag you would use is steal rate colon space plus whatever percentage. So plus 15%. So if you equip this Thieves Glove, it's going to give you 15 agility, which is just an extra bonus, but it's going to give you an increased 15% chance to steal. This steal rate will be added to the default steal rate or the steal rate that's on the note tags and the enemies. So if we go over to the enemies, we'll look at this Mushi Skeleton. Thank you so much, Mushi, for making that art. Really cool looking thing. We can steal a potion, uh, or we can get a potion, a dagger, and a headband from dropping. But we can steal... Uh, item 111, 50% of the time when we try to steal. So that's how that works. So I'm saying steal item 111. So if I go to my items and I move to 111, I'll see that when I try to steal from this guy, I've got a uh, 50% chance to get a potion plus one. Enemies here. Right there. Because I'm using item and then the number of the item and then the percent chance. Now, if I was using Thieves Gloves, even though this says 50, it would add that 15% and I would have 65% chance to get that. Right? So also, um, snatch weapons, snatch armor, snatch items, snatch gold. This doesn't really uh, go here. <clears throat> At least I don't think so. Um, th then this right here, we have steel resist plus 10%. So we're saying it's we have a 50% chance to steal this item, but then I could do another one like steal item 112, and we can say another 50% chance of the time. But both of these will be modified by this. So he's going to subtract, uh, we're going to resist stealing by 10%. So we're only going to have a 40% chance to steal this item and that item. And I believe it's only going to pick one of these. But mess around with this plugin. Basically, just put the note tags, you know, in the right spots, and you'll be able to spe uh, specifically decide what items increases your chances to steal, what uh, what happens when you steal, how to specifically say um, the the percent chances and, and everything. Basically, read the help file. If uh, the help file didn't work for you, watch Yanfly's video if that didn't work for you. Hopefully, this video helped you figure it out. It's a plugin that's been around for a while now. Um, but it's a super cool plugin and it, it opens up a lot of possibility for some cool, interesting uh, mechanics with the thief. So hopefully you guys liked this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this tutorial or found it helpful at all, please smash that thumbs up button. I really appreciate that. Like this video, share it with your friends if you found it helpful. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.